30 in Business Central and formerly NAV for a number of years to export data out to Excel. You've been able to refresh the data in Excel and pull the latest set of data through from Business Central into it. But in recent versions, they've also given you the ability to update data in Excel and push it back from Excel into Business Central. So in Cronus, there's been some sad news this morning. Our salesperson, Peter Sado, has sadly left the corporation. So I need to go through and update all my customers with the new salesperson for them. Now, I only have five, so granted it's not going to take me too long to go through and do this, but if I had 5,000 customers, it would take quite a period of time to update these. So I'm going to take the customer list and edit it in Excel. This downloads the spreadsheet, which when I open it, has an association back into Business Central and will pull the data through from Business Central. So I enable the editing, it builds the connection and then pulls the data out. And then in here, I'll have the list of all the customers up here with all the relevant data. Now, there are obviously checks here, won't they just change it to whatever you want to? So if I try and change the balance on a customer to be a million pounds or 10 million pounds, for instance, and push that back in, because that is a protected data table, it won't let me push that back in. So I can't push back in a new balance. It says, no, I can't do that, and it overwrites it back with the old value. Likewise, if I try and enter data which doesn't exist, so salesperson AC, I know doesn't exist, and publish that back, it will give me an error message saying there were problems when publishing it back. I can go to the details if I want. But what I want to do is update this with the new salesperson code for Mary Dempsey. So she's now become the salesperson for all these customers. So I update that one and drag it down. It's Excel, it's nice and easily. And I can publish that data back. And that is now updated. So if I now go back into Business Central and refresh this page, you'll see the salesperson code is updated with Mary Dempsey's salesperson code.